All too often, I see way too many mistakes in people's LinkedIn profile. So in this video, I'm going to give you my top three LinkedIn profile mistakes to avoid, and they're coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here, your social media for business expert. And if this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you grow your business or brand using LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a whole lot more. So hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with everything social media. I release videos just like this every week and you definitely don't wanna be missing out on them. When someone lands on your LinkedIn profile, you literally have five to 10 seconds to make a great first impression, otherwise they will click off and the opportunity will be lost. Now the main reasons people will click off is because your LinkedIn profile is boring, it's bland, it's not engaging, it's not entertaining, and they're not even quite sure what you actually do. And every week I literally see and review hundreds and hundreds of LinkedIn profiles. And one common thread is I see the same mistakes repeated over and over again in most people's profiles. So let's go to some live screen action now where you will be able to follow my mouse as we go through step by step and I explain what those top three common LinkedIn profile mistakes actually are. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile, Mark Warnkin. If we aren't connected, by all means, send me a connection request. I would love to connect with you on LinkedIn as well. So when someone lands on your LinkedIn profile, literally within seconds, three to five seconds or five to 10 seconds, they're going to determine within a pretty short period of time whether they like what they see or they will decide to click off and the opportunity will be lost. So the main mistake or, or mistake number one that I see all too common from most people's LinkedIn profile is they haven't fully optimized this top box area. Now the top box area composes three parts. Firstly, it's your profile image. It then becomes here your very visual banner image. And then it becomes your professional headline, the area that I've just highlighted here in blue. This will go a long way to determining your success on LinkedIn because unless this area here is engaging, informative, entertaining, and people actually get it straight away, they're not actually gonna scroll further down to your LinkedIn profile to find out a little bit more about yourself. That's why this area is so, so critical. And it's the number one mistake that I see most people have made on their LinkedIn profile. They haven't made this as good as it is, um, you know, potentially can be for themselves. So let's break down those three components a little bit more. The first part here is your profile image. Now, most people probably get that, right? Some of the minor mistakes I see on this, it's not a head and shoulders photo. It's maybe a wedding photo or something with the kids or family, or it's, it's, it's just too small. So try and make it a head and shoulders photo so at least people can see your smiley face and then they will be more inclined to engage further. The second component here is the banner image or the cover image. Now, this is the most visual part, as you can all see. So this top box area that, I, that I've um, cut out and, and we're showing here, the cover image, very valuable real estate. Um, too, all too often I see people have a, you know, a, a, a blank image or no image at all or a you know, a picture of, of their home city or, a, or, or an image of, you know, their company that really doesn't explain too much about them. But take advantage of this very valuable, um, you know, visual part of your profile. Um, so people will see your face, they will then have a look at the cover image. And then the third component will be your professional headline area. This is the 120 character spaces that you get to tell a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, and how you help. So maybe add your business title, um, your job title, some industry keywords, um, maybe add a benefit statement, that type of thing. But definitely just don't leave it with managing director Thompson International or you know new, new car manager at Volvo, you know, dealership in, in Phoenix, Arizona or anything like that. Try and include a benefit statement in there. So this will make or break your success on LinkedIn because people will decide whether they like what they see there and it's the most common mistake that people miss, which means they're not really benefiting much from LinkedIn. So I do have a few more examples here um, that I can show you. I like what Michael has done. 
Um, nice smiley image. He doesn't necessarily have too much down here in regard to his professional headline, but I like his banner image. I help business coaches and their clients secure funding from 100,000 to 1.5 million. Cash in your account. How clear, how simple. It sums up exactly what Michael does. Equally, I love what Joe's done. My company brings the flooring showroom to your front door at no charge. How good is that? It is simple. It is so clear. Nice image of Joe. And it's got a picture of his mobile flooring um, vehicle. Very clear. No doubt what Joe does. Um, equally, I love this one. Um, Leanne's a fellow Australian. I love what she's done here. Look how clear and bright it is. Um, nice cover image here, sorry, profile image. She's um, uh, continued that with a secondary image in her banner up here. The digital success catalyst, marketing speaker, digital marketing, Google partner. It's all very clear. Look at it. I love it. It's a new addition that I actually show people um, in my training modules as well. And the last one, I like what Justin's doing. It's the old, it's the old um, shape. It's the old example, but I love the message. A nice smiley image. Feel like your marketing dollars aren't quite working? Let me show you how profitable and long-term SEO can be. I like the banner image. Are you afraid to invest in SEO because you don't know if it'll work? So there were just some examples in regard to, um, you know, LinkedIn profiles, the the top box area, as I call it, the the, um, the, the, the most visual part of your LinkedIn profile. And if we don't get this part right, people will click off and the opportunity will be lost. Now, moving on to mistake number two that I see all too often as well is once people have navigated the top box area, they are going to start scrolling down and they will see your summary section or the about section. LinkedIn have recently renamed it. This is the most read part of your LinkedIn profile and you get 2,000 character spaces here to tell your story in a lot more detail. So take advantage of this whole valuable piece of real estate where you get 2,000 character spaces to really explain who you are, what you do, why you do it, and how you help. Now, the tips on how to write an effective summary is that you want to write it in the first person. I believe it's you writing about yourself, so you should be writing it in the first person. Short three-line paragraphs only, no big blocks of text. People will click off as soon as they've clicked on if it's confronted with big blocks of text. This is the magic formula, 25% about what, who you are and what you do, 75% about how you help others. Now you can change those percentages of course, but it shouldn't just be an exercise, a chest beating exercise all about you because people will disengage straight away. Make sure you add your contact details. Use bullet points and arrows to draw the eye's attention. Utilize your industry keywords. Remembering LinkedIn is a giant database and a search engine. Every word in your LinkedIn profile is keyword searchable, so you're wanting to use them. Have a call to action as well. If you're wanting people to take the next step, let tell them to do that. Let them know what you want them to do. Go to your website, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me an email, go to my Facebook page, whatever it is, have a call to action. Call to action because the summary section is the most read part of your profile, so make it count. Once people have come through the top box area, they're gonna be hit with a summary or the about section, and that's gonna further um, determine whether they are gonna open up the lines of communication with you or they're just gonna click off and the opportunity is lost. So back to my summary section here or about section here, you can see how all of that comes into play. Short three line paragraphs only, bullet points. I'm using a combination of um, capital letters, um, and I will have my contact details in here as well um, with call to action. So that's the idea with your summary section. Again, all too often I see people only take advantage. They might only have this much of the summary section written about themselves. And I go, come on guys, come on girls, tell the business community around the world a little bit more about yourself. That's why LinkedIn is probably not working too well for you because you haven't fully optimized the top box area and then you haven't really articulated well enough the about section on who you are. Which leads us on to the third most common mistake I see in people's LinkedIn profiles. After the top box area, after the summary section is they haven't activated all of the other available sections that LinkedIn um, give us all 
that we can all do. So your job history, you can go back in your job history as long as you want, um, validating you know the skills and knowledge and expertise that you have. So I go back about 20 years as well. Education status, they allow us to put your schooling, your university and things like that. Licenses and certifications, those type of things. If you're a volunteer, by all means, tell the business community around the world what you are outside of your, your corporate or your business work life. Remembering we're human beings first before we are individuals on LinkedIn and we do have a life outside of LinkedIn. The skills and endorsement sections, fully activate that so people then get to validate or get the opportunity to validate the skills. All of this happens, all of this comes together in you know, making your profile, um, you know, in, in engaging a rich content LinkedIn profile, which will only help you. Equally, recommendations, are you good at your job? Get some LinkedIn recommendations, recommendations or a, a reference or a testimonial, get them added. Accomplishment, courses, honours, awards, there is so much that you can do on your LinkedIn profile, but the vast majority of people don't even get past the bare minimum and that's why their success on LinkedIn you know, at best is not very good. And the last little bit that I want to say on um, activating the other sections is make sure you add video and images and things like that. We are living in a multimedia world. People are increasingly wanting to engage with you via video content. So the days of not um, having any video content, you are definitely leaving yourself behind the eight ball in regard to your competitors. When someone is on my LinkedIn profile now, I've taken out pretty much all of the images and I add all of my video content and see how visual, see how eye-catching all of that is. So all of this comes together in regard to creating an eye-catching LinkedIn profile um, and you want to make sure that you can you know, optimise those key three areas as well. And if we do all of that correctly, your LinkedIn profile will go from a beginner's level through to the intermediate, through to the advanced, and you will get the blue star, the all-star LinkedIn um, profile badge. And the more you do that, the more opportunities will flow. Um, just this screenshot here, um, I had over 4,000 people view my LinkedIn profile when I took this in that period of time. Um, and that equally accounted to lots of views on my posts and the information that I was um, publishing on LinkedIn. And finally finishing up, there is a couple of more videos here on my YouTube channel and on my LinkedIn profile that'll be able to give you a few more tips as well. So there we go. Hopefully you have found this video informative, entertaining and helpful and you will be able to go back to your LinkedIn profile Check out your profile and make sure it is fully optimised so it, when someone lands on it, they're actually entertained, informed, and they click on and want to read on and even maybe reach out to you to engage and then the opportunities will flow from that. So hopefully you've got some value out of this particular video. If you have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching it on my Facebook page, give me a thumbs up and a like as well. That way you stay up to date with all of my social media content videos just like this that I release every week. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123 signing off and I look forward to seeing you again in another one of my videos real soon.